The next step in your project is to grab your two pieces of fabric and you're going to um, sew them a 5 8 inch line. Now, your machine has a blue line. I have some tape right here on my machine. Um, I'm going to sit nice and straight at my machine. I'm turning my light on, making sure that I've tested my fabric before, or I tested my machine before I started, and everything seems to be great. My bobbin is in, my thread is in. I'm going to lay the right side of my fabric where I have it pinned um, along the blue tape, or mine is the copper and teal tape. Lower the presser foot. All of my fabric notice is to the left of my machine because we don't want it all bunching up on the right side. I'm gonna hold the two threads, turn the wheel so my needle goes down and comes back up. Again, I'm doing a straight line. We're going to go forward my reverse button is here. I'm going to go back stitch. I'm following the edge of my presser, uh, edge of my fabric all the way along that blue tape. When I come to a pin, I can take it out and place it on a magnet. That's why there are so many magnets in the classroom. Keep following. Notice one hand is in the back and one hand is in the front. I'm kind of driving my fabric. Again, there's my needle. Our uh, pin, excuse me. Take out the pin. I put my needle in the fabric before I took the pin out. The other time, the needle already was in the fabric. Again, I'm driving one hand in the back, needle in, take the pin out, put it on my magnet. Again, making sure all my fabric stays to the left and my fabric is following that blue line or the tape that you have marking your 5 eighths inch. I'm gonna turn my wheel so my needle is down, take my pin out, go all the way to the bottom, and then I'm gonna reverse back and come forward. When I'm done, turn the wheel so my needle is up, lift up the presser foot, pull this out and either use scissors to cut this off close to the fabric or there is a little thread cutter on your machine here. And that's how to do the next step. We're gonna add another piece next to our quilt block. So I've got two pieces here. I'm gonna do the white in the middle so I'm gonna add another blue one on this side. Notice my right sides are together and I have a nice straight line. That's why it's important to do a straight line. 